Lorna Green, the Nomad Yogi, coming to you from a sunny but very chilly cold Wiltshire. I'm in LA Studios this week and I've heard a couple of questions from students uh, regarding aerial swings. A few of them have bought these swings to use at home and to practice with and the question that's coming up is how do they adjust the length of the swing and when they want to wash it, how do they take it apart and then retie the knots? And I know this can be quite a, a daunting thing if you've never done it before. So this video is really for anybody who wants to confidently either be able to launder their swing and put it back together or if for any reason you need to change the length of your swing, either making it longer or shorter, you will be able to take it apart and put it back together in no time, I promise you. So the first thing that you want to do before you wash your swing is obviously take the knot apart. These knots are designed to be very, very tight. They're designed to be difficult to take apart. So a little tip for you is to wriggle the material backwards and forwards, up and down, however you want to do it. But you want to kind of squeeze it and wriggle it around a little bit and start to loosen um, the, the tension in it. And you'll find as you, as you manipulate it backwards and forwards, the knot will actually get looser easily, kind of all by itself, and it will allow you to pull it apart. And as you pull it apart and the, the pieces start to, to come away from each other, you'll find that you can quite simply pull it and the knot will fall out. So if you have a really, really tight knot, if you're struggling to, to move it with your hands, a good cheat is to use your foot, put the knot on the floor and just roll it with the sole of your foot backwards and forwards. The weight and your body weight and the action of moving it across the floor does exactly the same thing as manipulating it with the hand. So if that's easier, uh, try it that way. So once you've washed and dried your swing, you'll be drying it as flat as you can, no tumble drying for this particular fabric. You're left with what seems like oceans of material and you're probably um, absolutely terrified and confused as to what to do with it next. So really, really simply, I'm going to show you how to do a slip knot. Take the short edge of the fabric, make sure that you line those edges up as neatly as you can. It doesn't have to be perfect, but try and make it look pretty. Once you've got the edges together, you're going to take the short piece of fabric and you're going to drape it over your arm. So make sure that the short piece is facing forward, roll the piece behind. You're going to take your hand around the short piece, reaching back for the long piece, and then all you're going to do is pull that long piece through the loop that you've created, and you're going to make another little loop coming through that, and that's where your carabiner is going to go. So we take our carabiner, and we always put the carabiner on before we tighten the knot. Makes your life a lot easier. Once the carabiner is in place, you're going to take the short tail that you've got, and you're going to take that through the loop. So the same loop that you just put the carabiner through, you're going to pull that piece of material through. So that should leave you with a short tail, sticking out of one side and what looks a little bit like a, a tie, like a, a necktie in the front. And then all we're going to do is tighten that knot up around the carabiner. So we're going to pull on the long piece of material and push the knot upwards. Pulling on the long piece there and pushing the knot upwards. Now as you push the knot upwards, take a short piece and pull it in towards you. And you're going to pull upwards once again, squeezing that knot around the carabiner, and again taking the short piece and pulling it in. So hopefully you can see that the knot's getting nice and tight around the carabiner. And you're left with just a little bit of a tail. Now you can leave the tail hanging out. For this particular knot, it's really simple just to find an end, find a little gap in the material and just to tuck that short end out of the way. It's not going to make any difference to how tight the knot is, um, whether you do this or not, it's more just that it looks a bit prettier if you tuck that end away. So I'm just going to push that into place and it should leave you with a knot that looks a little bit like this. She said. <laughs> A little bit like this. <laughs> there we go. So that is your basic slip knot. To get 
to the opposite end to do our second knot, we want to take uh, the long edges of the fabric and make sure that they're lined up. You don't want any twists in the fabric before you tie the second knot. So I'm just going to work my way along the edges of the fabric, kind of swooshing my way along that fabric, making sure that there's no wrinkles or twists the whole way along. Swish any technical term, I'm not sure. <laughs> so once you've swished your way to the end, making sure that those edges um, are still together. You might find the short edge isn't as neat um, at this end as it was when you started. That's absolutely fine, don't worry too much about it. So for the second knot that I'm going to show you, it's still a form of slip knot, but it uses a little more material than the first one. There's no right or wrong, there's no better or worse, either of these knots are going to be suitable. It's more um, a case of how much fabric you've got, what kind of length you want your swing to be, and what you're confident in tying. So I'm really just giving the second option here. Because this one uses a little bit more material, it's, um, it, it's a wee bit harder work to do as well. Um, it's not a particularly difficult knot to, um, to do. I'll do it nice and slowly so that you can see what's going on. Move the material. So you're going to drape two pieces of material over your arm, making a loop. The loop is coming to the front of your body. So what you've got is the short piece and the long piece. And you drape that over the arm, forming a loop. That loop is going to pass all the way around all of these pieces of material and back to your hand. Now, that's four pieces of material. We've got two pieces in the front, we've got the long piece and the short piece in the back. You need to make sure that that loop passes around all four of those pieces. If you don't get it around all four pieces, it's not gonna be a secure knot. So, with the loop to the front, you're going to take the piece of material around your arm. I kind of use the side of my body to, <laughs> to help it go around. You're gonna bring it all the way around and you're going to put that loop piece of material into the hand that you've wrapped uh, the fabric around. You're going to pull that loop through exactly the same as you did for the very first knot. You might have to pull it a little bit harder just because we've got more material. And again, you can see that we've got this looped piece and that's where your carabiner is going to go. So make sure that you insert the carabiner in at this point before you start to tighten. Now, this knot is quite an easy one to know if you've done it correctly. If you've done it right, you will have three pieces that you can see. And hopefully you can see here one piece, two piece, three pieces. So if there's three sections to the knot, then you know that you've done it correctly. Now, you can pull down on the short piece and the long piece, but you're going to find it quite difficult to tighten this knot. The easiest way to do it is to actually stand up and pull the knot. So take the short tail and the long tail and make sure that you've got your foot um, onto that. Holding on with the carabiner, you're going to reach down with both hands. You're going to pull that knot up towards the carabiner. If you need to just adjust your feet or you can squeeze with both feet and you're going to pull a little bit tighter and you just keep pulling that knot until it's nice and tight all the way around the carabiner and you should have something that looks a little bit like this. You'll have a, a short piece and you'll obviously have the long piece of the hammock when you're done. You can tuck the short piece um, as we did with the, the, the first end Personally, I, I don't think we need to. I think it looks quite pretty with the, with the short piece hanging there. But it's just, again, a personal preference. So both of these knots um, are basically forms of slip knot. They should be quite straightforward for you. If you are uncertain at all about how to do these, one of the easiest things, one of the simplest ways that you can practice is to use a piece of string and to, to carry out the knot that way before you actually get onto the, the, the material. But always remember, if you tie the knot incorrectly, if you get into a bit of a muddle, it will always come out, so you've got nothing to worry about. Um, good luck with your knot tying. 
do let me know how you get on and thank you so much for listening and watching and have a wonderful day. Bye.